if your loved one goes into prison when you're very young, it's really, really hard to get to know that person, even if you do get to visit with them in person. I was 15 when my father went into prison. One day my father was there, and the next day he walked out a different door of that courthouse and didn't come home with us. My sister was sent to, to prison. She had four children. They didn't understand why their mother was no longer around. They didn't understand why they couldn't immediately see their mother. On a Monday she was home, on a Tuesday she was gone. My sister passed away in this correctional facility um, as a result of pneumonia that, that was not treated. You're completely cut off from from what most people consider daily family life. You know, when something in my life happens, either happy or sad, and I really want to be able to share that with my father, I can't call him. I can't expect him to be able to call me if something bad were to happen to him. Children are very um, me-focused at a young age, and it's all about them. And so they blame themselves, and having to deal with that, making sure that children have someone in their life to assure them that this is not their fault, that their mother still loves them, and that there will be an ongoing relationship. Many women who enter correctional facilities do not have the level of support they need, both inside the prisons and outside. Women are entering prison at a much higher rate than they did before. There, in North Carolina, there are 27, 2,800 female offenders, inmates, in prison. And it's projected that 70% of those inmates have children. And we know that children who have at least one parent who are incarcerated are six times more likely to end up in the criminal justice system. These children have not been able to establish bonds with their mothers, and because of that, we have a great concern about their future. They're society's children. They're our children. And so what can we do to make their experiences better and more hopeful? The data supports the notion that we need to start working with this population differently. Our Children's Place is a, a residential initiative essentially to create a home for young children, birth through preschoolers, so that they can stay with their mothers who are serving out a sentence for some sort of a non-violent offense. We want to build healthy families, we want to find ways to support mothers, and one of the key pieces that we want to accomplish is to provide that support for the child so that they don't end up in that sort of cycle, not only of poverty, but of criminality that lands them in jail as well. The facility uh, will be located in Butner in Granville County. It will be a place where the women will have access to mental health and substance abuse treatment, job skills training, parenting, while the children are in a licensed childcare facility. And so the plan and the hope and the, the desire is that when the women leave, they're in a better place when, than when they arrived. They can care for themselves and their children financially, emotionally, socially to create that, that better experience for the children. When I heard about our children's place, I was bowled over by the very idea of it. I couldn't believe what an incredible opportunity this will be for families to be able to stay together. I wish that every woman who is incarcerated with children out there had the level of support that this organization provides. It's a community problem that we need to start addressing. And it's one that is, is of great significance because we're talking about children. Just because a mother is behind bars doesn't mean that her love for her child is any less than it would be if she were not there. If we had more programs like our Children's Place, this world would be a much better place.